In this video, I want to talk about the concavity of parametric curve. Consider this parametric curve x is 2 minus t squared and y is given negative t to the 3 plus 2t plus 2. We want to find for what values of t this curve is concave up and for what values of t this curve is concave down. Remember, a curve is concave up if the second derivative d2y over dx2, the second derivative is positive and is concave down when the second derivative is less than zero. And also, I should remind you that a curve is concave up when it is in this form and is concave down when it is this form. So, for determining the values of t that this curve is concave up or concave down, we have to find d2y over dx2, the second derivative of this parametric equation. First, we have to start with dy over dx, the first derivative. For finding dy over dx in parametric curves, we use this formula. dy over dx is dy over dt, derivative of y, over derivative of x. dy over dt, which means that derivative of y is negative 3t squared plus 2. And derivative of x is negative 2t. Derivative of 2 is 0 and derivative of negative t squared is negative 2t. Now from this we can find the second derivative d2y over dx2. If you don't know how to find the second derivative of parametric curves, watch my other videos about the derivatives of parametric curves. For finding the second derivative of parametric curves, for finding d2y over dx2, this is the formula that we use. d2y over dx2 is derivative of dy over dx with respect to t. We have to take derivative of this expression and we have to put it in numerator over dx over dt. So denominator is dx over dt and dx over dt is simply derivative of x and derivative of x is negative 2t. But for numerator, we have to take derivative of this expression. And for finding derivative of this fraction, we have to use quotient rule. Based on the quotient rule, derivative of this expression is derivative of top is negative 6t times by denominator, which is negative 2t, minus, we have to write numerator, and multiply it by derivative of denominator, which is negative 2. over denominator squared. Now, if we simplify the expression in numerator, negative 60 times negative 2t is 12t squared. If we multiply this negative 2 here in the bracket, in the other bracket, we get 6t squared. Don't forget this negative here. So minus bracket 6t squared minus 4. So in numerator, we have 
12 t squared minus 6 t squared is 6 t squared minus minus 4 is plus 4. This is in numerator. But in denominator, we have to multiply negative 2 t squared by negative 2 t. Negative 2 t squared is 4 t squared times by a negative 2 t is negative 8 t to the 3. So this is d2y over dx2, the second derivative. Now we have to find out for what values of t this expression is positive and for what values of t this expression is negative. To find out for what values of t this fraction is positive and for what values this fraction is negative, first we have to find out for what values this fraction is zero and for what values this fraction is undefined, which means that we have to set numerator and denominator of this expression equal to zero. Note that if we put numerator of this fraction 6t squared plus 4 equal zero, from this equation we cannot find any value for t. Actually, if you notice, this expression is always positive. And for no values of t, this equals to zero. Another way that you can find out this equation has no solution is to move four to the other side. It becomes negative four divided by six, negative four over six. So t squared equals negative four over six. This side of the equation is always positive because it's a squared the other side is negative which is impossible so this equation has no solution but if we put denominator of this fraction equal zero negative eight t to the three equal zero then t is zero so the only value that denominator is zero is t equal zero now we can draw the number line for d2y over dx2. The only point that we have to put in the number line is 0. To find the sine of d2y over dx2 in these two interval, we have to use test points. For the interval negative infinity to 0, we can use negative 1, negative 2 as test points. For example, if we plug in negative 1 for t in this equation, if you put t equal negative 1, simply you can check that d2y over dx2 is positive when t is, for example, negative 1. And if you use a test point for this interval like 1, 2, any positive number works, Simply, you can check that d2y over dx2 is negative in this interval. So from this number line, you can find out that when t is less than 0, when t is from negative infinity to 0, d2y over dx2 is positive, which means that the curve is concave up. When t is in the interval negative infinity to zero the curve is concave up but when t is in the interval zero to positive infinity the curve is concave down let me show you the graph of this parametric curve here The graph of this parametric curve is something like this. When t changes from negative infinity to zero, it generates this part of this parametric curve up to this point, which as you can see, this part of this curve is concave up. 
And when t changes from 0 to positive infinity, the other part of this parametric curve is generated. So this part, as you can see, is concave down. This part is generated when t changes from 0 to positive infinity. And this particular point here is 2 and 2. 